I'm Chris Taylor, um, storyteller and creative director of Chris Films for 12 years. Um, I'm thinking about the best piece of advice I was given. It was um, kind of know your story, your story uh, gets you work. Uh, my story is, uh, and this is the story of art, and this is art. It's my son Art, not Arthur. He likes to call him Art. I once called him Arthur, and he went, no. So, um, he's obsessed by story, he wants to tell stories all the time. Some of them don't really have any words in them, but they seem to have a point, and we always end up laughing together at the end. Uh, he's the reason I'm in love with story again. He's taught me to be brave, kind of just open my mouth and see what comes out, and kind of follow the story down the rabbit hole. Um, and he's two. Um, so what is storytelling? Wiki believes storytelling is conveying of events in words and images, often by improvisation, embellishment, stories or narratives that have been shared in every culture as means of entertainment, education, cultural preservers, and instilling moral values, crucial elements of stories and storytelling through plot, characters, and narrative point of view. You can't really argue with that. Um, but think about it this way, uh, the use of, um, of words to put images into somebody's mind and uh, we do that because they crave a structure of story. Um, we want story because it's how our minds work. Uh, we absorb and then we sort and structure reality or information. And when you're asleep, um, your brain is creating stories. And when you don't get much sleep, your brain becomes a little bit random and uh, the, the library upstairs becomes a mess. So here are my five to-dos of storytelling. The main points to think about when you're thinking about your next marketing strategy. Uh, websites, brochure, or even a uh, sales presentation. Um, so know your audience. Um, each person brings a completely different perspective to the viewer. Uh, it's made up of all their life experiences. In other words, we all experience the story differently. So you must understand uh, what your audience wants. Um, often stories in business are about balance. Uh, it's restoring of balance uh, or fixing a problem. So what does the customer need and why? And uh, if they don't need it, uh, just make them think they do. I've not been doing that for the last 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> um, so number two is uh, know what you do well. So um, stories are often based on emotion. Um, we all hear about the lifestyle marketing, but I I'm kind of like, well, really? Um, everybody's about lifestyle, lifestyle this, lifestyle that. Well, our lifestyles at the moment are really kind of about thrift and recession and saving and recycling and cheap and I can't afford it. So are people buying into lifestyle, um, but people are buying into emotion, and you can't beat it, and that's why charities always do well in recession. Uh, number three is know your limitations. I was telling Art a story about my grandfather in the Second World War, and I thought I would just do a Christopher Walker impression. <laughs> and uh, he just immediately went, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. no. Um, so I hope uh, he was reacting to the power of the story, but I fear of that mimicry has uh, kind of scarred him for life. Um, so, if you can't do it yourself, get help, which brings me to the next point, which point number four is uh, there's no good collaborator. Um, you really can't work in a vacuum. The most important thing is to have that objective view. Uh, there's a reason you hear people say, well, we do marketing, but we never manage to market ourselves. Why is that? It's because it's really difficult. It's really hard to shine that white hot light um, onto your own company. So use anyone whose opinion you trust uh, and often the person who's furthest away from your business has kind of that clearer view. Um, so point number five is uh, you know how to keep wanting, keep them wanting more. Uh, and this is the trick of the storyteller to make the story really clear and simple. It's kind of like condensing beer into whiskey. Um, keep it short and keep it simple. Um, and an audience is only ever going to take away really four facts from the trunk of information. It used to be seven, but we've all got ADHD now. So. <laughs> um, and the last one is passion. Um, that's really uh, six points. Uh, but who's coming? Uh, the story needs to be told with passion and conviction and belief. You really have to believe what you're doing, what you're selling, what you're marketing uh, is, is right for the company they're trying to sell it to. Um, so it's all about injecting that emotion. Uh, I recently left a client's meeting, turned to a colleague and said to him, do you think I put enough voices on him when I was reading the scripts? And he just looked at and shook his head and said, at least he didn't try Chris not walking. <laughs> <laughs> and we won that work. So, um, so finally, if in doubt, make them laugh. It works for us. <laughs>